Hello Yu-Gi-Oh players and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB0, and today I am coming at you with a Business Casual news update where I bring you guys all the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news through the eyes of a Business Casual player. I'm dressed for the part. So Worlds is this weekend, which is very exciting to many people, but unfortunately it isn't getting that much excitement from more Business Casual or even more casual players. Um, because of the lack of creativity, or not so much creativity, but variety on the playing field um, in the top tier. Especially this year, but in other years it's also been true. But this year, especially since Judgment of the Light will not be legal, we won't be able to check out any of the new builds that can come with the Bujins or with 3 Axis. That won't have, hold a particular interest for the business casual community, which means that supposedly, in theory, Worlds would not have hold a particular amount ex of excitement for us, un unless, I mean, like, America wins and gets a sweep or something. But, in theory, Worlds would not be that exciting for business casual players. But really, there are actually a couple of things that make Worlds really important for business casual players especially to look at. One of the reasons is because of the live stream on Sunday. That's the most important thing about Worlds for business casual players. Um, and that's for us especially, because it is our goal to be able to use our creativity and ingenuity to make decks that we can use at our greatest skill level to compete with the top tier. And what that requires is for us to be really smart and really good players. And one of the best ways, let's face it, to get better is to watch people play who are better than you. And definitely, these are the best players in the world, which means that any live stream of them doing will be sure to show you guys the skill of a true pro, which means that you guys should definitely tune in Sunday for the live stream. But there is one other thing that makes Worlds very interesting for the business casual community and, well, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community especially in general, which is, it is around the time of the weekend of War mm, sorry, the weekend of Worlds, that a player, I think, I want to say his name is Kato, don't get angry or anything if I've totally butchered his name or whatever. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Anyway, usually a player at the time of Worlds, on the weekend of Worlds, releases or leaks a very accurate or even a lot of the time um, correct list for the September ban list. Still not sure how he does that, but almost every year it happens which means that if you guys want to make your ban list predictions, probably now's the time. But we can expect within the next week, we will be getting a confirmation of the September 2013 ban list, which is super exciting and definitely has some serious relevance to business casual players, particularly since oftentimes the September format is the slow format of the year, which means that we are going to be seeing a lot more interesting creativity and variety going into play and big events. So speaking of Judgment of the Light, Judgment of the Light came out this week, and why that's really significant for business casual players is really, in my opinion, Judgment of the Light is the best business casual set in at least a year. I'd say it's been since before Return of the Duelist that we got, well, maybe Return of the Duelist counts, but it's been a very long time since we've got a very business casual-centered set. And the reason why I say that is because if you look back at Up It's Rising, um, to a degree, Abyss Rising had some good business casual stuff since it came out with many cards that can work for many decks that we can use creatively and um, inventively. Uh, so Abyss Rising had some very business casual aspects about it, but especially Cosmo Blazer and Lord of Tachyon Galaxy were very archetypally based and very top tier centered and very deck centered, which means that we weren't getting anything interesting particularly interesting from either Judgment of the Light or from, or not Judgment of the Light, sorry, from Lord of Tachyon Galaxy or Cosmo Blazer. But Judgment of the Light actually shows a lot of potential for business casual players. Uh, for instance, especially the Synchros, will be aiding players to create a more interesting extra deck and will bring back Synchro plays. And one of the things that we know is, as um, business casual players is a lot of the most interesting decks for creativity and ingenuity um, come from a synchro-based format. For instance, Junk Doppel, probably the most business casual deck of all time, since it create, requires tons of inventiveness with your plays, lots of creativity, and a lot of fun 
So Synchros historically have been very good for business casual players. But there are also other cards in the set that are very interesting for those of us who want to go forward and play business casual Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, one of them is Transmodify, will add an interesting aspect to a few decks and could spark some new decks centered around it, perhaps, um, that requires some new strategies that we haven't heard from yet, which is always very interesting. Um, some other cards include Mass Chameleon is one that I think will spark a lot of business casual ideas, um, since I'm... Well, I've, I've been working with it and seeing a lot of new decks that I can create, which, by the way, you guys can see the, um, the duels that I have played with my Chameleon deck so far, and I will have deck profiles for my Chameleon decks in the near future. It especially pairs well with Dark Sea Rescue for Armadis, which came out as a Synchro in Judgment of the Light, um, which allows you a free Armadis, which then can't be responded to in battle, which is really powerful. You can see that in Junk Doppel variant that I've been working on recently. So a lot of interesting things from there in terms of standalone cards that can be fit together with other decks in order to make some interesting plays. However, even the archetypes that are coming out that are seeing play after Judgment and the Light are actually very interesting in business casual. I think the exception is Bujins, since it's often not particularly exciting or creative to play a deck that centers around basically protecting one monster um, as Bujins tend to do. But things like Archfiends, which have a very interesting play style and could see some serious play, as well as especially Mecha Phantom Beasts, will be very interesting. There's a lot of messing around you can do with that deck, which makes it very good for business casual play. And even, and I'm going to shock people here, Three Axis Fire Fist has a lot of, of business casual value. It's a very skillful deck and requires a lot of thought going into your play, something that a lot of business casual players really like. So three axis and the other archetypes are even, even as archetypes are very good for business casual plays. We are also seeing, since we business casual players enjoy our budget decks, we also see that bear reprint coming up in the tins in the near future, which I would definitely get a few of just because it's got a lot of good sets in it um, and a lot of good promos. So, Judgment of the Light and the recent reprints are going to have a big impact on the business casual community. However, there is one thing that has been announced or has been rumored recently that may have an even bigger impact on business casual players, and that is the change in format in how we play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm not just talking about the ban list. I'm talking about rumors that the way that we play will be changed. Um, by which I mean that it is possible that we are going to have, see an increase in deck minimums, um, maybe 45 cards, maybe even 50, an increase in extra deck capacity, and even an increase in life points. Now this is especially interesting to business casual players because this will force a lot of players to play in the grind game, which many times the most business casual decks, for instance Chain Beat, require a very strong grind game. And if we're going into the grind game, that means that business casual players will have a bit of an advantage. So that news could actually be great. So you guys should definitely hit the comments below, talk about what decks you see yourself creating after Judgment of the Light. Um, you know, whether you think that Dragons of Prophecy will win at Worlds, if you're excited for the live stream, how you think that this new format change might change the game. And then tune in to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why. And then subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'm your host, the RJB Zero. Thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. And I got a jet. See you guys.